I haven't really vlogged today. Um, oh, also, I haven't even started out this video. Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. It's the moving vlog. So, it is November 22nd. This is what everything looks like. This is the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, there's clothing and stuff in the cars and stuff like that too. So, yeah. Okay. Jack is tired. Okay, where do you guys want to eat? Your call. There's. All right, guys. So I want to kind of finish telling you what I was saying because. I didn't want to like be having my camera out and stuff while we were moving because I just, I wanted to focus and like, you know, get stuff going. So, but you saw all of my clips from yesterday packing. So fun fact, we did not start packing until yesterday and we're moving today. Technically we don't have to be out of the apartment until December 1st, which is a Wednesday in like two weeks. But we're actually going out of town um, this Wednesday. We're visiting my parents for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna be gone Wednesday through Saturday. Um, but which is actually nice because that will give us time to kind of settle in. And then since we'll still have the apartment that we're moving out of, I can clean and vacuum and everything like that. And I don't have to worry about doing it all in one day, which is very nice because it is pretty dirty. Like there is super big dust bunnies like under our bed and stuff like that and the shower you know me I try to keep everything clean so it wasn't like it's super super dirty but I just definitely want to make it look nice before I move out so that I can get my deposit back I don't know if I really like have been keeping you in the loop of moving but basically we our lease was actually supposed to be up in October but we ended up not putting in our 60 day notice, which actually was literally the Lord because we couldn't get an apartment. The apartments that we wanted that I've been looking at for about two years now, they go so fast and they're not super, super nice, but the thing is they're super cheap for pretty good space, size space, but they're not like remodeled or renovated or anything like that, but that's kind of fine with me. Anyway, I ended up just since we were really considering moving, I finally was like getting serious about reaching out to these people and like putting us on a wait list or whatever. I've been doing that since like August and they didn't even have an available apartment until December 1st, which when I finally put in our 60 day notice, December 1st would be the last day of our lease. So it was literally like the Lord because if we would have put in our 60 days before getting that apartment, we would have had to like live somewhere for two weeks or for like a couple weeks. So that would have sucked. But the Lord is good. Um, it worked out perfectly and we have a few days. So the people who were renting the apartment before us moved out um, a couple weeks ago and then they were just fixing everything up, cleaning it and all that stuff and then technically we were supposed to move in December 1st but because it was ready before then we got the keys today um, I did not get the keys Jack ended up getting the keys the really really nice thing about already moving into an apartment beforehand is all we have to do is just switch over like our renters insurance and our Duke energy and everything like that so it was just really easy instead of having to set all that stuff up again which was honestly a pain because I was doing it by myself and it was just really confusing. Really, I didn't really have any help. I didn't know what I was doing. So the fact that we just moved everything over pretty much via my phone was very nice. We have Cincinnati Bell right now for our Wi-Fi. Um, where we're moving to, it's actually not in Cincinnati. It's not in Ohio. So they don't even offer Cincinnati Bell. So we have to give our little like Wi-Fi router to a Cincinnati Bell location, but I was able to cancel that through text. Something about me, I hate calling people. I hate being on the phone. I would way rather text you than call you, but I'm not a good texter either, so. Um, I've been talking for four minutes already, but it is one o'clock. This morning I got up, I could not get out of bed, which is usual. I'm not a morning person whatsoever. 
I did not end up doing quiet time this morning, which I feel really guilty about. Every morning I pretty much do quiet time. Um, but this morning I was just like, I couldn't really wake up. I was like really tired. So I ended up going on social media. I hate doing that. I hate it. I knew that it was going to be a long day and I, I wasn't feeling quiet time this morning. And please tell me I'm not the only one. Please tell me I'm not the only one who feels this way. I love the Lord. I love Jesus so, so much, but I just really like wasn't feeling it this morning. That doesn't mean that I wasn't feeling him. I just wasn't feeling like reading. <laughs> and I've just been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently, like really way too much, but I should be praying. I should be praying about that. I do pray about it. I'm just, I just sometimes going on social media just makes me not think about it and kind of gets my mind off of everything. But anyway, I'm literally rambling. We woke up at like 8, 8.15ish. Um, but I didn't even get out of bed until 9.30 because Jack already went to go grab the keys. Um, so he left about like 8.45ish. We already packed up all of our coffee, so I haven't had coffee today. So I'm really going to need to stop and get coffee. Um, but we're doing about two loads. I ended up going to the gym because I didn't go to the gym yesterday and I didn't go to the gym on Saturday. So I've skipped two days and I already skipped Thursday last because Thursday was my off day. But I wasn't even thinking about not working out on Saturday, but I had a busy day and I just been really tired recently. So I didn't end up going to work out on Saturday or Thursday. I really don't like missing three days in a row. Um, so I ended up working out and then straight after I got back, I started just unloading because Jack and his dad were already there. So I just started loading the truck up and everything. Um, the very, very nice thing, we're blessed to have someone who has a trailer. So he's letting us use his trailer for free. So now we are at Chipotle. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten anything today. I'm very excited. I might just get steak, honestly, at Chipotle. I've been talking for eight minutes, okay. I'm gonna go eat now.
house. We kind of live in the country now, which is very weird because I am not used to the country. I grew up in the city, so it's just very weird. Last night, I kind of showed you guys some clips of me and my mother-in-law putting things away in the kitchen. So we pretty much got the kitchen 100% done. Uh, it's about like 96% done. All I have to do is put a couple things away decorated a little bit to how I envisioned it and then I have to get the rest of our food from our fridge and put it in the new fridge. Jack's mom built our coffee bar yesterday that I got from Target. We also did the bed obviously so we got to sleep in the, our bed this morning. Basically today I'm going to go work out but I have a Planet Fitness membership and the only Planet Fitness was by our old apartment, which is 30 minutes away, um, but there is a YMCA that's like two minutes from our new apartment, so we're going to be joining YMCA after we get back from our Thanksgiving break. Since I need to still work out, but I'm not a member of YMCA yet, um, I'm going to go work out right now, and then I'm going to go to the apartment, the old apartment, and grab pretty much like all of our food out of our fridge, and then um, there's still some things that they left behind yesterday that are like not essentials. Um, so I'll try to get as much of that stuff as I can in this trip. Then I'm going to go ahead and go back home and then try to finish up the kitchen. We actually did a lot yesterday and I didn't film a lot of it because we were so exhausted. I just did not feel like getting my phone out and my phone was like basically dead because I was um, doing a time lapse like all day. I'm gonna go work out and then I'll show you guys what the old apartment looks like and then when I get home I'll show you what the new apartment looks like. All right, so this is what our apartment looks like. <laughs> so this is the stuff that uh, was left behind. As you can see, there's like, what? It's a random shoe right there. What the heck? <laughs> this is the uh, washer and dryer room. I need to take that sign down. That was from our engagement. And the bedroom is completely wiped out. Our bedroom now is way bigger. Oh my gosh, he forgot the sticker. <laughs> this is like his first love note he wrote to me. <laughs> I might just take the stuff that I want here and put it in the cart first, cause then I'll do that last so that everything stays cold cause it's gonna have to have a 30 minute drive. trip probably next week when we come back from Thanksgiving. This is things I don't need and so now I'm gonna end it. I'm just going to take everything out of the fridge. I'm gonna probably start with condiments and just try to sort everything but thankfully we don't have that much food. I'm glad I kept so many plastic bags because this will take a lot less time to put it in the car. Just cleared out the fridge, the freezer. It took five trips, I think. But the last trip was just really one thing. So I'm gonna shut off all the lights. Cause I'm still paying for electricity. <laughs> Do I have toilet paper in here? Cause I need to go to the bathroom. Ooh, I do, okay. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is take out the trash. Cause there's a bunch of food in there. Don't want it to stink up. It's echoey. So 
so sad. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna go because I'm so hungry and I have a 30 minute. Okay guys, I'm back home. Um, I don't even think I showed you the apartment. <laughs> so I probably should do that. But um, these are the things that we built. So I built this. Um, I also built it wrong because this pole right here is supposed to be like turned around because this pole has a hole right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then this one has it right here. So you were supposed to put a pole behind it to stabilize it, but obviously I couldn't do that because I put that in the wrong spot. So we ended up screwing it into the wall. So it is not moving at all, which is very nice because this is Walmart and Walmart stuff is cheap and it, it kind of sucks, but it's not going anywhere. It is in the wall. So this is what it looks like. Our bathroom is not very nice, but then this thing is what Jack built. So it wasn't super hard, but it wouldn't stay for the longest time. And we didn't understand why, but we figured out why. So this is the bathroom. So this is what the bathroom looks like. So there's a door right here and then right here. And then, yeah, it's still, you know, a work in progress. But then this is our room. So this is what the bedroom looks like. It's definitely a lot bigger. We put the dresser here. It is so much bigger, but yeah, as you can see, it is quite a mess. And then we have a nice window that is really big. So this is the view, nice and woodsy. So our closet is way bigger. I ended up putting my dresser right here. It fit perfectly in here. And then walking around, here is one little linen closet. And then there's one right there. And then here is the washer and dryer space. It's very, very small, but whatever. These are the two new washers and dryers we just got, or washer and dryer. Uh, I got it off Facebook Market, both of these for $4.50. And they're Kenmore. They're pretty nice. They're actually like the ones that I used to have growing up. And then the bomb of a room. This is where everything is right now. Because this is a second bedroom that is going to be a office slash bedroom. So it's a whole mess. And then here's the stairs. There's the door. This is a little coat closet. We have another closet right here for storage. This is a, sec a second half bath or just one half bath. Smells like poop. And then here's the living room. Jack is working on a dress. Is that the first one? <laughs> I'm still rolling. Oh gosh. Hello, Jack. You're doing it's not rolling. But yeah, this is what that looks like. And then we have our table here. And the kitchen is really small, but it actually fit a lot. Like we still have like this cabinet, and then this cabinet has nothing in it. Um, and here's a little coffee bar. It's so cute. And I'm gonna maybe get a chair right here. And then there's a window and a pantry. So yeah, that is the space. It's great for us. I have to leave in an hour, so I'm gonna try to do some stuff. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I know that we didn't really get much done yet, so I'm going to probably do another video like this one, probably in a couple weeks, not um, the next video I make, just cause I don't want it to all be like moving. I'm trying to think of like, maybe I could do, instead of doing like a moving part two, do like a clean with me, or decorate with me um, because that second bedroom is going to be a monster, but I'm really excited for it. Um, we got a day bed for that second bedroom, which I'm really excited about. Uh, we got it at Ikea, but it is at my grandma's house right now because it couldn't fit in Jack's car. But I just didn't want to like make this video too long. There's a lot to do. 
so i'll probably do like a decorate with me and then i'll probably end up doing a full like apartment tour when it is all done because i know exactly what i want it to look like i have like an idea in my mind for all of the rooms so it's just going to take a little bit longer and instead of waiting to upload this for like a couple months i'm just going to upload it now and then subscribe if you have not already so that you can see the videos that i'll be posting later on and see how it's going to look later so yeah make sure to subscribe um make sure to follow me on my instagram because i'll be posting more frequently on there about the apartment um so if you want to see some updates and kind of just what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is the underscore Lily Allen. And make sure to like this video so that I can know that you guys um, enjoy these videos. And let me know of any video ideas or suggestions that you have down below um, so that I can make stuff for you that you guys like. I have a lot of video ideas, but I'm like, with moving and everything, I'm feeling so dysfunctional. It's not my normal day-to-day life you know it's like moving we are on our way to well we are not on our way we are going to north carolina today so i'm going to try to vlog that i did not bring my camera i didn't even think about that but i'll probably just do it on my phone honestly iphones have good quality if i had the newest iphone it'd probably be a little bit better but it works but yeah i totally forgot my my camera be on the lookout for that video and that is it i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching i love you guys what is this <laughs> bye <laughs>